The foundations are being laid for the Mark of the Beast. Time to check in with our lizard overlords in Davos, Switzerland. What are they up to? Well, this. So first off, a video. Uh, it's going to make you see the future and understand a wonderful future where we can use brain waves. Let's roll. You're in the zone. Even you can't believe how productive you've been. Your memo is finished. Your inbox is under control. And you're feeling sharper than you have in a decade. Sensing your joy, your playlist shifts to your favorite song. Sending chills up your spine as the music begins to play. You glance at the program running in the background on your computer screen and notice a now familiar sight that appears whenever you're overloaded with pleasure. Your theta brainwave activity decreasing in the temporal regions of your brain. You mentally move the cursor to the left and scroll through your brain data over the past few hours. You can see your stress levels rising as the deadline to finish your memo approached, causing a peak in your beta brainwave activity right before an alert popped up, telling you to take a brain break. But what's that unusual change in your brain activity when you're asleep? It started earlier in the month. You send a text message to your doctor with a mental swipe of your cursor. Could you take a quick look at my brain data? Anything to worry about? Your mind starts to wander to the new colleague on your team, whom you know you shouldn't be daydreaming about, given the policy against intra-office romance. But you can't help fantasizing just a little. But then you start to worry that your boss will notice your amorous feelings when she checks your brain activity and shift your attention back to the present. You breathe a sigh of relief when the email she sends you later that day congratulates you on your brain metrics from the past quarter, which have earned you another performance bonus. You head home, jamming to the music, with your work-issued brain-sensing earbuds still in. When you arrive at work the next day, a somber cloud has fallen over the office. Along with emails, text messages, and GPS location data, the government has subpoenaed employees' brainwave data from the past year. They have compelling evidence that one of your coworkers has committed massive wire fraud. Now, they're looking for his co-conspirators. You discover they are looking for synchronized brain activity between your coworker and the people he has been working with. While you know you're innocent of any crime, You've been secretly working with him on a new startup venture. Shaking, you remove your earbuds. What do you think? Is it a future you're ready for? You may be surprised to learn that it's a future that has already arrived. Everything in that video that you just saw is based on technology that is already here today. It used to be that there was very little we could tell from EEG activity. But already, using consumer wearable devices, these are headbands, uh, hats that have sensors that can pick up your brainwave activity, earbuds, headphones, tiny tattoos that you can wear behind your ear. We can pick up emotional states, like are you happy or sad or angry? We can pick up and decode faces that you're seeing in your mind. Simple shapes, numbers, your PIN number, to your bank account. Moving past passwords pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> neural signatures are unique. We can use it as a biometric for passwords. Really good for passwords. Neural signatures are unique. We can use it as a biometric for passwords. Are you guys seeing this all come together like I am? I mean, are you picking up what they're putting down is my question. I mean, we're moving past passwords pretty quickly. We're talking about your digital identification. Your brain or your neural signatures are unique. We can use it as a biometric for passwords. Think future. Mark of the beast. Your head. You mentally move the cursor to the left. All of these things are absolutely insane. You know, instead of measuring, you know, how you do, we're going to measure your brain metrics from the past quarter, you know, to see how you operate and not your sales numbers. We're going to look at your brain metrics. You know, the government has subpoenaed employees brainwave data from the past year. And that gal was freaked out because she was considered a co-conspirator, you know, with your work issued brain sensing earbuds still in. This is nuts. But I'm going to show you the stuff from the World Economic Forum that they've put out here in the past couple of years. And yet we've got this gal from Duke University talking and telling us what's not in the future, but is already here. 
And who better with technology than China? China's putting wireless sensors in the workers' headgear. Companies say they measure their emotional state and improves performance and increases productivity. But others are a lot more skeptical. MIT have said the technology is still very limited, and the policy raises important questions about privacy. Guys, they're even telling us, you know, about these sensors and the AI algorithms and the privacy, you know, detect emotions like rage, sadness, and anxiety. Employers can see the data and make changes to a worker's day, like changing their break times. Remember the brain break? Switching them between projects or even sending them home. I mean, this is nuts. And I can see how it could be helpful here with like the train drivers where there's sensors. So when they start to fall asleep, it'll alert them to wake up. But would you let your employers read your brain waves? I mean, this is coming to an employer near you here in 2023 and the surveillance of the human mind. Talk about being able to exploit. You know what I mean? Uh, you're daydreaming. Everything else is going on around you. Even scientists are warning that the AI could hack into your brain. This story is wild and control your thoughts, decision, and emotions. Here's why. The scientists used an example of a paralyzed man. And what had happened, he was participating in a clinical trial of a brain-computer interface, kind of like Elon Musk's scenario. If the patient disagreed with the medical team, the AI connected to his brain could read his thoughts and interpret them as a command to harm the researchers and the doctors and whatnot. Despite him having no direct command being given by the patient, the scientists say it's crucial to consider the possible consequences now, including a person's right to a private mental life. Investment in the neurotech industry has reached over $100 million a year. Guys, this is getting nuts. The scientists are calling for new ethical rules. You know, it's funny how they want to try to bring in some rules and to be sure that AI does not exploit and manipulate people. Do you think AI is a threat? <laughs> I do. It also has a dystopian possibility of being used to exploit and bring to the surface our most secret self. Focusing in the world of wearable technology as opposed to implanted technology, and I do believe that within many of our lifetimes, we'll see healthy people using implanted brain technology as well. So many companies are launching these earbuds and headphones this year that have sensors that are built in. One of the things that has limited the widespread adoption of the technology until now has been that you have to wear something like across your forehead. Most of us aren't gonna do that. But when it's the same device that you're using to take calls from and also to listen to music from that also is picking up brainwave activity, it's integrated into your everyday life. But as healthy people in a widespread way start to have their brainwave data collected, the insights that we can gain through pattern recognition will exponentially increase and pretty quickly. So you have recognition memory signals that are pre-conscious and subconscious, and this is part of why it's been used, for example, by governments to interrogate criminals. Do you recognize this potential co-conspirator? Do you recognize yeah. um, you know, this murder weapon? Again, that's frightening, but promising. Frightening and promising. She couldn't have said it better when it comes to artificial intelligence, human enhancement. And the implications for spirituality, this is more than just spirituality. We're talking about eternity here because of what's coming with not this temporary tattoo. And this is part of the promising side with the, you know, monitoring the baby functions in real time. I mean, uh, the things health wise that they have planned this year and even Klaus Schwab has said, you know, throughout the years that the implantables are going to come after the wearables so first we're getting ready for these wearables with the different tiny circuitries and whatnot and even just like this ring they have so much cool stuff coming up as you can see here for women i mean this is all biometric stuff that are going to tie in with the uh, electronics and with your phone you can track your cycles you know this is going to be so beneficial for women and whatnot but guys at the same time everything is frightening and it's all come to a head but i just want to get this out and uh, we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching